Hello friends. So last week I played with the basics of the character layout of Professor Farnsworth from Futurama to try and get a feel for the layout and proportions of him. And this is for a potential future project to work with Dave from Blender Planet on a fan animation. But also just for a bit of fun. And this week I wanted to draw up my own character model sheet for him. But what is a model sheet? Well originally it was developed for different artists and animators to draw the same character exactly the same each time so that during a single animation you couldn't tell it was drawn by different people. And it's usually a single sheet but can be quite a few sheets consisting of character breakdowns showing proportions, examples of characters in different poses or with different expressions, maybe a lip sync guide and a turnaround showing a front, a three quarter view and a side and maybe a back view of the character if there's something to show. But as I'm the only animator on this project it's useful for me because it's just a fun way to practice drawing him and the more I practice, the easier I'll find it to draw and the more consistent my character will be. But also as a cheat sheet, as a reference with the shortcuts that I find useful for drawing him so I can draw him quicker and more consistently each time. And the more I draw him, the more familiar I get and the less I'll have to refer back to this sheet. And while I was thinking about this, it reminded me of a story I heard from the actor Anthony Hopkins, who said that every time he got a script for a new role, the first thing he'd do is just learn the lines inside and out. Just to learn the words so he could repeat them without even thinking about it. And then once he'd done that, and only then, would he then attempt to add the characterization or the accent, or the nuances of the character. Likewise, I want to learn to draw the character first, and then I can act with him with more confidence, without the actual drawing of him getting in the way. So what did I actually add to my sheet? Well, I draw a few shortcuts for the proportions, so it can be drawn the same each time, which is almost a step-by-step -step guide of how to draw him. And I started with the head, as this will be in every scene. And I mark the position of the glasses, his ear, which is level with the nose for instance, the three lines on his neck, his forehead wrinkles, and the wrinkles on his face. And then I drew the body, showing the proportions relative to the height of the head. And his forehead's high in total, and I marked on the position of his round tummy, the length of his arms, his lab coat pocket, and by drawing him next to the forehead marker like this, I'd be able to more easily recognise where to draw the rest of him. And when I finished, I didn't trace over him to neaten the lines, or colour him, as this is just a personal reference. So it looks a little rough and ready, but no doubt I'll be redrawing him in the near future, as I discover more shortcuts and tips for myself, and also as I get used to drawing him because I can already see that he's not quite right yet. But the more I draw him, the closer I'll get. And drawing this today is a step closer to getting him right. And there's a few things I've not drawn on the sheet here. Uh, different expressions, mouth shapes for when he talks, and a full turnaround. But the turnaround I'll be drawing next week. And I won't just be adding it to this sheet, but I'll be animating it. And that'll help me in quite a few ways. But more on that next week. So subscribe and hit that bell so you don't miss it. I think it's going to be a good one. And that's a guarantee.